Hi everybody, my name is Damien. I'm the mental health therapist at Kodot Lake School and today we are making a video on Remembrance Day and we're going to do a craft. Uh, we're going to be painting some poppies on some stones. Remembrance Day to me is recognizing the sacrifices that my own family has made in, in World War I and World War II. I had a great great grandfather who fought and died in World War I and I had uh, two grandfather, two great grandfathers in World War II. Uh, one was killed in action and the other one was stationed on the west coast of Haida Gwaii and it was his job to be a spotter for any Japanese planes that might be coming across the ocean. So every year I take part in the Remembrance Day ceremonies to acknowledge them. Thank you. This is a poignant occasion when we remember countless thousands who uh, sacrificed a great deal. Many gave their lives to uh, preserve the freedom we enjoy today. Today, I, I have a, a few memorabilia, not much, but uh, I, I have two individuals in my family tree who served in World War II. And, uh, Honestly, I don't know a great deal about their lives other than their service. I have pictured here today uh, my maternal great uncle, uh, Edgar Harvey Wells, who served in World War II. Uh, most, uh, if not all of his life, he lived in Great Britain, uh, I believe Navy actually. He survived uh, and uh, lived, came home, and uh, enjoyed uh, the rest of his years until he passed uh, just over a decade or so ago. I, I have here a, a relic of World War II. This would have been an actual rifle used in combat uh, outside of the, the uh, aftermarket strap, if you will. but. Uh, this would have been uh, the typical uh, tool that uh, soldiers in trench warfare would have been using. And uh, a box very similar to this to store their ammunitions and uh, basically keep their ammunition dry so that it was useful against enemy fire and to safeguard their own um, troops and their own comrades. When I think of Remembrance Day, I, I'm, I'm caused to reflect with profound thanksgiving. But as I remember, I'm thankful for those who willingly went so uh, to preserve not only their current generation back in the 40s, uh, but also future generations. I'm not here to promote guns or violence of, of any kind. I'm hopeful though that as we remember, we, we don't glorify war and, and the, the devastation that war brings, but we remember and honor the, the desire to preserve peace and to preserve freedom. I'm thankful today that beyond an ammo box, we can, in our own toolbox, we can use uh, to preserve freedom and peace uh, in our lands. We, we use communication. We use um, friendship. We use reconciliation. We use many things that are more productive and helpful for us to coexist. Even though we may have differing ideas and views of how things should be in our world and in our lands, um, these were the tools of yesterday. Hopefully today we use the words of peace and comfort and brotherhood and sisterhood within our human family. Hi everyone, <clears throat> I'm Sally Jones. I'm the mental health worker with uh, Elizabeth Quintel School. So I just wanted to talk a little bit about what Remembrance Day means to me. 
So when I think of Remembrance Day, Remembrance Day is a day that is pretty much shared by many, many, many people. And there's a huge significance to it in that our, lo our loved ones who um, fought in the wars for us, fought for our freedom, fought for our independence. It was a time of uncertainty back then when they all stepped up and kind of decided that they wanted to kind of make the future for their families and their friends a better one. Um, and they really, really had honor um, in doing so. So a lot of people didn't really do it out of obligation. They did it because it was something that was really important to them and to their families and to their future families and to their friends So and people that they loved. So the fact that we honor Remembrance Day every November 11th is something that's really, really important even the moment of silence that we have to really honor them in all of the chaos that they went through and all of the trauma that they went through to try to make or to make our world that we have now a better place to live. So my grandfather, Joe Cardinal, um, was a veteran of the war and he really stepped up and took pride in being a part of that, making peace uh, for us in today's kind of where we're at today. So I really, really take pride in honoring November 11th for my grandfather as well as for all of those who really fought for us, helped make this place a better place for us to live in. So that's kind of what November 11th means to me. Hello everyone, my name is Sonia Kandelwal and I'm a mental health therapist in Little Buffalo School. To me, Remembrance Day means it's a time to remember who died not only in the First World War, but also in all the wars that happened all over the world. People, they fought to provide us freedom from, from their families and land. Although I'm from different country with different perspective, it was a time when my grandfather escaped from the war that happened between India and Pakistan. And I still remember that he was a part of that war. I still do not have a picture to share with you. I will still remember him. Hi, I'm Kim, mental health worker with Clarence J. Cox School. Today I want to talk a little bit about um, the Remembrance Day ceremony and why this is important to me. Both of my grandfathers um, served in the World Wars. One of my grandfathers I don't know very much about. Um, he passed away before I was born and I never really got to meet him, but I will show you a picture of him right here. Um, my other grandfather, he was um, a member of the Devil's Brigade and that's that's kind of just the nickname of the brigade um, and so what had happened is they were the first people to go to lead the pack and go go first um, on the land and then other people would follow them after um, and here's a picture of him remembrance day to me is just about remembering those who fought for our freedoms and um, just realizing how free this country is and how blessed we are to be so free. In many countries around the world, even today, um, women can't vote, women aren't even known as women, they're just known as objects. Um, in a lot of countries, um, kids can't go to school and we're very blessed that we get to go to school, that we get to vote, that we have the freedoms that we do have and that's what I remember on these days to be extremely, extremely grateful for. So that's what Remembrance Day means to me. Thank you. Today the mental health workers are gonna be doing our Remembrance Day craft, and we're gonna be decorating rocks with poppies.